A Detroit scrapper, there he is, busted, he went to prison, but now police say he's back at it. Back at it and back in the crosshairs and in trouble. And what he's accused of doing right now is why our Ronnie Dahl is on the story once again. She joins us live from Detroit's west side. Ronnie? Over the past year, I busted several people breaking into vacant Detroit public school buildings to steal the scrap metal. Every time I do the story, someone gets upset with me saying I'm picking on the little guy that's just trying to make a dollar to survive. Tell you what, wait until you hear this story because that's not always the case. In fact, Detroit police say one guy made big bucks, really big bucks doing just that, and he did it on the backs of hardworking taxpayers. When money woes for students out of Detroit public school buildings and the doors closed, metal thieves found a way in. So do you think because it's open, you're allowed to do this? I sure do. Day after day. What you guys doing? Scrapping. Scrapping? Week after week. Hey, where'd you guys go? Month after month. You guys don't think you're doing something wrong. Why don't you stay here and talk to me? No, not at all. They devoured the buildings, stealing anything of value. Detroit police say Dewan Horton was a ringleader. There was a team uh, that, that was targeting these schools. Uh, they would go in, they would strip the copper wire infrastructure from the schools. In a year and a half, Detroit police say Horton and his cohorts cashed in on more than $200,000 worth of stolen scrap metal. In 2011, he went to prison for his scrap stealing ways. After only three years behind bars, he was out and police say immediately went back into business. Between May and now, he racked up over $88,000 in cash money for mostly copper wire. According to the cops, the 39-year-old parolee and a sidekick would take stolen wire, some which came from the old Cooley High School, to a lot on Detroit's west side. That's where they would strip it, making it more valuable at the scrapyard. They take their time and they strip it. They roll it up. They wrap it up. It looks professional. Bring it into the yard and the yard pays for it. A lot of these individuals are making a lot of money on the backs of the people of the city of Detroit. So Horton is, uh, has been charged with breaking and entering as well as selling stolen metal. And since he's a repeat offender, this time he is facing up to 10 years behind bars. And also we want to remind everyone, if you see something, say something. A lot of times Detroit police are catching these illegal scrappers at the scrap yard. So if you see someone breaking into a school building, a commercial building or the house next door, be safe, but try to get a description as well as a plate number and report that to Detroit police. There is a tip line and a tip email, and we'll have that on our website, WXYZ.com. For now, we're live. Back to you. Well, maybe 10 years behind bars this time will help him decide to stop doing that, even if that $88,000 won't. Came right back out and got right back in it. Wow. Thank you so much, Ronnie.